Hello again, just a quick video on how I'm going to heat treat my blade. Um, I've made a tin forge out of an old uh, paint tin uh, and it's filled with plaster of Paris and fine builder's sand um, made into a paste with water um, and then a, a drinks bottle inserted into the centre and just pack the tin can full of the uh, mixture um, and then pull the bottle out and this get, makes a little forge. And there's also a little tube in the side here um, which is going to have a map gas torch inserted into uh, and what you need to do is wait for the uh, mixture to harden for a week uh, and make sure all the moisture's uh, gone from the um, from the plaster of Paris sand mix before you use it otherwise there's a hard chance that it will actually crack uh, when you start heating for the blade I'm using O1 tool steel and it's six mil thick this blade uh, which is why I wanted to try using a forge um, because I think it's going to be quite difficult to get that to temperature. I've also got some uh, regular vegetable oil here uh, for quenching the blade in and I've also got some pure borax in a powder form um, and this is going to be used as a anti-scale. You can get um, commercial anti-scales in a clay or in a paste um, but they're quite expensive and they, you can normally only get them in bulk so this uh, pure borax is a cheaper alternative and you can see here I've already applied some of the borax to the blade um, the idea is to heat the blade until you just start to see a colour uh, the orange colour in the blade uh, and then take it out and then just sprinkle um, the borax all around it um, and you don't need much, you only need to sprinkle on a, a light amount and you'll see it all start to bubble up. Um, and what you're looking for is just a very thin film of the borax uh, coating the blade. And then when you come to uh, quench the blade, it should uh, help to prevent the black scale from building up. Um, so that's the idea behind the borax. So for heating the blade, I'm going to put it into the forge while uh, continuously rotating it doing that because I want to heat the blade evenly um, and that will help to prevent the blade from warping um, and once the blade starts getting a colour you're looking for a dark orange cherry red colour take it out and test it with a magnet and you want to test it all over and when the magnet isn't drawn to the steel it's ready to be quenched if you find that the magnet is still drawn to the steel in certain places just put it back in and heat it for a little, little longer so after the blade has been quenched I'll clean off any uh, scaling just lightly clean it off and I'll take the blade home and temper it in my oven and I'll put it in the oven at 210 degrees for about two hours and then I'll take it out of the oven and let it air cool um, and I'll do that twice so I'll temper it twice um, at 210 degrees for about two hours and, and after that the blade should be uh, ready to fully grind and, uh, and sharpen and just another quick note after you've heated the blade up to cherry red uh, tested it with the magnet and uh, quenched it after, after that stage you must temper the blade um, because it will be really hard but it will be far too brittle to use um, so if you forget to temper it or you don't temper it after quenching you'll find that the edge will uh, break away it will be a very brittle edge and it just won't retain a sharp edge so it's very important that you temper the blade after the initial um, heat treating
I heated the blade and then uh, sprinkled the borax on. So hopefully this black scaling should uh, clean off relatively easily now. Um, and I also heated a bolt uh, and dropped that in the oil. Uh, because I've read that if you warm the oil through you get a better quench uh, rather than quenching in stone cold oil. So that's the reason I dropped the uh, bolt in the oil. So now all I've got to do is just uh, lightly uh, sand off the uh, scaling. Um, I don't have to take it right back to a, a good finish at the moment because I'm going to be tempering it next. So I'll um, uh, clean this off uh, and then I'll take it home and temper the blade in the oven. Um, and then after that uh, I'll uh, clean the blade up fully and uh, fully grind the bevel and sharpen it and then it should be ready to use and then the last bit is just to um, attach the snack and uh, shape all that. And just to show you this as well, if I hadn't have applied the borax here, this scaling, you'd have to either sand it off or grind it off, um, but by applying the borax, you can see that scaling is just, um, it's just breaking away. So it's definitely worth, worth doing that. Um, just another quick thing to note as well, you saw in the video that only probably the first two inches of the blade uh, got up to the cherry red colour. Um, before I quenched it and um, obviously that means that the, the front portion of the blade will be hard and it will get softer the further back uh, towards the back of the blade uh, you go. Um, I could have heated it for longer and let the colour travel up the blade um, but to be honest I'm never going to use more than two inches of the uh, of the blade you know I'm never going to grind grind away and resharpen more than more than that, not in my lifetime anyway, so I'm not too worried about sh um, hardening the blade all the way through, there's, uh, there's no need. Um, and just lastly, just to check uh, to see if you have got a hard piece of steel at the front here after the, after the heat treating, take um, an old file, best not to use your favourite file, um, but if you run it at the back of the blade here where the metal's still just uh, soft, you can you can feel and hear that the uh, file is cutting into the steel whereas if you take it up to the cutting edge the part that you heat treated you'll notice that the uh, the file just glances over the top of the steel and that's and you can hear a difference in sound as well back here you can hear the teeth cutting the, the metal and up on here where it's hardened The teeth are just skipping over the top of the metal, which means this uh, this steel is harder than the than the cutting teeth on this file. So that's why you don't want to use your favourite file because it can blunt them a bit. Um, so yeah, that's that's another easy way just to check that you've got the steel nice and hard. So which this is, thankfully. So um, so now it can be tempered. Right, here we are now, I've tempered the blade in my oven at home and you can see there the, um, the colour change in the steel. So now all I've got to do is flatten all this off both sides, fully grind the bevel and sharpen it and um, peen on the snack uh, and uh, start shaping that.